watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. So I bought this cargo van that I plan on turning into a camp out bug out vehicle. So I can bug out with my motorcycle. You are watching my bug out van build series. Hey be sure to check out my bug out van build series. Video links are in the description section of this video. So I decided to get the biggest possible TV I could for my van and I ended up getting this off brand 32 inch LED TV with a built in DVD player and the TV is only 2.35 inches thick so it's ultra thin. It also has a VGA input so I can hook my computer up to it and it also has a USB port as well. You know one thing that kind of threw me for a loop is on the box it showed 120 megahertz refresh rate and also the energy guide said $8.60. But the ad where I purchased the TV showed an energy guide of $11 per year and a 60 megahertz refresh rate. So I decided to do a little digging. So I decided to check the model number on the box and I noticed that it had three letters at the end, MQR, that was not listed on the ad. And I decided to go to the manufacturer's website and sure enough, my TV does have 120 hertz refresh rate. So this must be the newer model. Hey, that's even better. I can't complain. Next up I had to purchase a wall mount so I ended up with this one hopefully it works out. Next I'll need to try and figure out the perfect mounting location and this area looks exactly to be the perfect location. Okay now to install the bracket. The first problem that I encountered is the screw bolts were too long so I had to come up with some smaller screws and those look like they should fit the bill. Next up I had to cut out a piece of scrap wood to use as support behind the sheet metal and that looks like that should work out. So I went ahead and drilled some holes through the sheet metal and wood and then I put the bracket on and screwed the screws on and guess what? It went on solid. But the main problem is I mounted it too low and the bed would not fold up completely so I had to remount it higher. And here's the end result. It worked out absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for any better. I folded up the bed and guess what? It was able to latch. So there, the bed now conceals the TV and also protects the TV as well. So it not only hides the TV, but it saves space and protects the TV. And I finished the install by putting on the cover plates. And for those of you who asked the question, will folding up the bed press into the back of the TV, thus possibly damaging the TV? No, see those bars right there? Those bracket bars actually work to protect the TV, so it works out absolutely perfect. Okay, now we need power for the TV, so we need to power up the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Oh, by the way, I had a two-way Viper alarm system installed. What's really cool about this alarm is that the LCD remote that it comes with uh, will tell you when the doors are locked or unlocked, and also if the car is being tampered with, if somebody uh, tampers with it and it gives a warning the LCD remote will give you an audible warning and also if the alarm goes off it'll go off on the LCD remote as well okay now I'll turn on my LED lighting inside my van I did add the second set as you see there if you didn't see my uh, LED installation video I'll include a link in the info section of this video that was my previous video and uh, this is what it looks like inside looks pretty cool huh and the TV looks really nice there against the wall. Folds out nicely. So you can watch TV in the van or you can fold it out to watch the TV outside. Okay, now let's fire up the TV and see what she looks like. So I'll go ahead and put a DVD in. Okay, now I'll turn my driver's seat around. As you guys know, I installed a swivel plate. And this is what the view looks like with me sitting in the driver's seat turned around. Nice and comfortable. Wow, man. I'm loving this setup. Guardian Angel. For others, a ghost who never quite fit in. 
Okay, now time to put the TV away and fold the bed up. Very simple. Bada boom, bada bang. Just to let you know, I did replace that 7-inch backup camera monitor that I have mounted in the headliner uh, because this one is much better resolution and it accepts audio and video. It has speakers, so you can add a video source such as a DVD player or a video game system. So, hey guys, I'm going to lock up, get out of here, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Be sure to stay tuned for part 5 of my Bug Out Van Build series, Solar System Install. As always, links to all items shown in this video are located in the description and comment section of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you all later. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click to Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.